Let there be light. Assuming you are sitting in a normal sized classroom, it took that light about 10 nanoseconds to reach you. In turn, for you to have known that the light has reached you, it took about 200 milliseconds. Congratulations, you are about 20 million times slower. As you can see, the speed of light is so fast that it precedes our immediate perception. So how do people measure it? More specifically, how did people before the 20th century try to measure it? Did they get close to the real answer? During Galileo's time, many believed that the speed of light was infinite. In fact, they had no reason not to believe that. Galileo, being Galileo, disagreed. He tried an experiment in which he and another person each took a shuttered lantern and walked a mile apart. The rule was that as soon as one of them flashed his lantern, the other would flash back, and Galileo would simply divide the distance by the time. He found that the speed of light was at least 10 times greater than the speed of sound, or 3.4 kilometers per second. Little did they know, they did more to measure the reaction time and the speed of their arms. Galileo had less success in measuring the speed of light than he had in avoiding trouble with the Catholic Church. During the 1670s, inspired by Galileo's discovery of Jupiter's moons and his belief in the finite speed of light, Danish astronomer Ole Romer made another attempt at measuring the speed of light. Initially, Romer was trying to predict the orbital times of Jupiter's moon Io. To his frustration, however, he discovered that Io was not orbiting strictly on schedule. Romer simply did not accept the possibility that Zeus might have been keeping Io late from his telescopes. He noticed that Io was ahead schedule when the Earth was closer to Jupiter and behind schedule when Earth was farther away from Jupiter. Romer deduced that the irregularities in Io's orbit must have been due to this finite speed of light. Based on careful observations, his data implied that the speed of light was about 300,000 kilometers per second. In France, 1849, Hippolyte Louis Fizeau produced another measurement for the speed of light. Fizeau shone a beam of light through a rapidly rotating toothed wheel into a mirror five miles away. The mirror reflected the same beam of light back through the rotating wheel. By varying the wheel's rotational speed, Fizeau could see when exactly the light does not have enough time to be reflected back through the same gap on the wheel. His speed of light was about 313,300 kilometers per second. In France, 1862, Leon Foucault modified Fizeau's experiment and made a more accurate measurement of 299,796 kilometers per second. The actual value of the speed of light is 299,792.458 kilometers per second. There are a number of different ways to measure the speed of light now. One of them is remarkably similar to Galileo's method. Astronauts put a mirror on the moon, and when a laser on Earth shoots the mirror, our atomic clocks can find very accurate times for the laser to travel there and back, which is about 2.5 seconds. So remember, next time you Google the speed of light, give a second of silent tribute to the people that worked so hard to make your life just a bit easier.